becoming one of the more prolific three-point shooters among NBA big men. Greg, it was a shot he barely attempted through his first six seasons in the league. Now he's made it a key part of his arsenal. Here's Tatum following the three by Detroit. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. A lot of enthusiasm to the start of this game. So far, a perfect four for four. The Hornets shooting their first free throw of the night. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. Now here's Higgins. Outside Griffin. Pocket six. Fires from 14. Good. Nice job down low. I love the play call and Blake with the strength, but also the touch to dominate inside. Here's Boss. And it's the Hornets, another three. Oh, my goodness. Five straight coming out of the gate. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for Detroit, trailing by four. And this game, just the first of four meetings between these two get quite familiar with each other by season's end. It's the kind of season series that can really make a difference in the standings if one team ends up dominating the other. The shot misses. Hornets leading by four. Pass to Ingram. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on Killian Hayes. Brandon Ingram is a fascinating player, multi-dimensional and versatile. Needs to keep improving. And there are a number of things that make Ingram a dominant force. But what really jumps out at you the moment you see him, the length. Few wings in league history have had a 7-3 wingspan. Washington's checked in for the Hornets. Now, here's Kinnard. Outside Williams. Time from Tatum. Charlotte's gone two or two from three point range here in the first quarter. Here's Boss. That's good. And it's Ingram with the assist. Boss has got 10 points in the game. And Greg, you combine Ingram's length with his emerging skill set. He has got a long career ahead of him in the NBA. I mean, he certainly has the tool. What we need to see now is the consistency year in and year out. It's one thing to reach that star status, it's another to become one of the true superstars in our league. How about five straight made from the field to start? Pistons trail by 10. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Now the pass to Bay. Ball stolen. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Ingram wide open. And again, Charlotte with the triple. This is as good as it gets for first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. For Detroit, they've gone 50% from the field at this point, 4 of 8. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. So both teams making some changes here. Charlotte on D, 13-point lead, and it goes down two points. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Here's Boss, and it's the Hornets, another three. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Pistons trail by 14. 103 left in the first. Oh, Griffin in position. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Charlotte's got a perfect 4-4 four four from beyond the arc. A lot of the points coming by way of the three in the first quarter. And here's Kennard. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Williams. Again, the Pistons score. He is so comfortable in this area. Something Williams relies on, the mid-range. Here's Boss, defended by Griffin. Griffin on the double team. 